Hello there, Gemini. Welcome. This is a reading for October 2022. Let's see what's happening for you. Let's see. We're starting off with Seven of Wands. Okay. This is, you're standing out. You're, you're getting pulled out. You're getting, um, selected. How do I say this? Yeah, you're getting selected. I think there's like, you're getting selected for something. You're, yeah, you let's just see what else. That's what I keep on getting, same thing over. You're getting selected, getting selected, getting selected. So let's see what else we have. Okay, nine of cups. This is your independence. You're doing something on your own. You're doing something different. You're you're trying to do something else too. I, I feel like there's two things you're doing. You're you're getting selected for something and you're and because and this is gonna put you in a different category or to but you are doing something, it's almost like a project you do alone. And then you're doing something else that you're independent of others too. And that can be money coming in here at the Nine of Pentacles. Now we have the Seven of Cups. You have many options here. And you know, some of them feel like, okay, that seems way out there. There's no way that can happen. Don't think that. Because I feel like, you know, with this hot air balloon, this is taking you to new heights. There's a lot of different decisions. You're confused about what to do here. But don't think you can't achieve something because you can achieve whatever you put your mind to. And we do have two sevens here. Very interesting. Okay. Now we have the sun. Happiness here. Leo energy. Whatever's going on here, you're very happy. You feel, I feel like more of an independent energy from you than I have before. It feels like, okay, now I have so many choices. I'm confused. But you feel like you can achieve whatever you want to achieve here. You, there's more self-confidence is what I'm feeling here. Okay, let's see what else we have. Why do we have this seven of wands here? Ooh, we have the queen of wands. Okay, you have been selected. You are standing. It almost feels like I don't want... I know this is not going to be for everybody. Like someone won the beauty pageant or something. It's like you've been selected. You've been chosen. And you're standing out. And it's, um, you're very attractive. People are noticing. It's almost like you're always getting, I don't know what's going on with you guys, but it's almost like male or female, it does not matter. It almost feels like wherever you go, people are just turning their heads. They're looking at you. You're, you, you have this, um, energy, this light that is shining bright and you're getting noticed okay aries leo sagittarius could be i think i really feel like this your energy but let's see if that changes it could be for some oh we have the octopus and <laughs> and the racket here okay so when there's like you might be having your hands in a whole bunch of different projects which i see do see this with this there's so, so many different choices here you also might be someone that's coming around you that's all handsy and then we have um this a badminton or um, tennis racket the birdie or the tennis ball is stuck in the racket so there's some kind of going back and forth and i think now it's either you're waiting or they're waiting someone's is stuck right now someone's waiting for someone else to do something now it might be that the fact that you have to decide what you want to do i almost feel like you have to decide it's, it's like it got stuck on your racket <laughs> okay let's see why do we have the nine of pentacles it's independence is single energy Let's see what that's all about. Okay, this is the Six of Cups, but it's in reverse. Ah. So what is this with this memories from the past? They're fading. I almost feel like that's what it is. Maybe you're, we're having memories for someone, and you're, and now this connection is sort of fading from your mind. I don't think you're thinking them, about them as much. Okay, what about this? Maybe because you're so involved with your work and your career. And that is like you don't have time to think about anything else. What about this Seven of Cups here? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this person's come in with an offer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they're saying, look at this. Look at my pentacle. <laughs> you want my pentacle? <laughs> it's like they're offering you something here. And here's the owl coming in too. It's They feel like this is a wise choice. This person doesn't jump at things. This person takes their time. They make sure they, they do everything correctly. And it almost feels like they're saying, this is a wise decision with this owl here. And you might be not expecting this. If I feel like a lot of air. Why are we in the air here? Hot air balloon. We got the owl here. Oh, 
how is also spiritual communication? It could be that this offer comes at night too, which is very interesting. So is that a love offer or a business offer? I don't know. All right. Let's see. Um, look at this. I got the feather sticking. I think I'll leave it like that. <laughs> let's see. Let's, then I'll definitely know there's a charm there, so I can put the word on it. I'll let the feather stick up in the air. Oh, yeah, this is a love offer. Here we have an open heart with the infinity symbol through This person expecting. They have a lot of love for you, and they expect him forever and ever and ever. <laughs> okay, and then we have here, we have the king of pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This I feel like this is your energy coming into this King of Pentacles being um, on your throne here, on your financial throne, on all the money all around you because all these opportunities coming in. Again, it feels like money's coming towards you, Gemini. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have. Oops. Okay, this one came flying out. And this is the High Priestess. This is your intuition. This is a mystery. This is a secret. Let's see. And then we have the hangman. You're keeping a secret to yourself here. There's something that you know that you're not telling anybody. And then we have the four. Yeah, you're hanging on to the secret for dear life. What is this secret? This is your secret. And you're seeing things differently by hanging on to the secret. It's almost like you know something no one else knows. You're not going to tell anybody. Your intuition is telling you not to. And you're going to keep this always this secret is very big 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 and i don't know people might surmise that you know something or that you're keeping something from them and it's driving them crazy but you're not gonna you're 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 shut down tight you're you're closed up like a clam and then we have the two of wands here there is a, a option coming in a choice coming in here that um i feel like you're considering walking away from it feels like this doesn't feel exactly right to you. But you do have a choice. Usually with the two of wands, whatever choice you make is fine. It's, it's you know, it'll work either way. Okay, now let's see. What about this high priestess? High priestess Virgo Cancer energy. Let's see. And the hangman is Pisces energy. Ooh, so now we have the seven of pentacles in reverse here. Hmm. You know, it feels like you're not moving on something here. There's something you could put more work into or you're, you're expecting something. There's a delay here because of you not making a decision. It might be because of this here. There's You're delaying something and you're delaying something on purpose. Whatever that means. Okay, what about this hangman? And we have here, this is a Queen of Pentacles. Oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Who did we start out with here? Okay, seven. Okay, so now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, your independence, your money, it almost feels like you're not looking at this coin. You're saying, okay, it feels to me like Money isn't everything. I'm, I'm the money almost feels like it's coming towards you, but it feels like you're not looking at, you're not doing this for the money, but money's coming towards you. If that makes sense. Some of you are going to say, hell no, I'm doing it for the money. But I mean, <laughs> let's see. What about the four of pentacles we have here? Um, okay, we have the knight of wands here. Passion, desire. Moving some, to something really quickly here. Let me, um, just get a charm on this okay this is growth see you know if you um just let this go naturally whatever this is it's going to grow it's going to expand it's even going to bring you in more money and you're not worried about the money because you feel really sure of whatever this project is this business or whatever you're trying to do you're you're very confident that it's going to grow now um this knight of wands could be an aries leo sagittarius Okay, we have the salamander. You are protected. And also, you're very adaptable. You're very, you're able to change. But you're still keeping the secret here. Keeping whatever this is. But you're able to, um, I don't know, I don't know how to say. You're able, I, this, 
if this is gonna make any sense to you, you're able to change. It almost feels like you got bloodhounds on you trying to figure out what you're doing. <laughs> and because you're achieving this stuff, they see that you're accomplishing things and they don't know how you're doing. You get all these options, get all these offers. So they're trying to watch it. You're keeping all this secret to yourself, whatever you're doing here. But it almost feels like you're very able to change people's direction. So if they got like the bloodhounds on you, you're like, okay, you, you'll throw something off course to her. You'll put them on another track. Um, trap trap I didn't want to say trap I guess maybe I did you know send them off on a, in another um, path is what I want to say I don't know why I said trap maybe there is something to do with trap tell me if that makes sense to you trap because I didn't it came out sometimes my guys change my words for me <laughs> and, and especially Mercury retrograde I'm not sure if it's just me getting confused with the energies or if um, I'm communication gets off or if it's my guy is actually deliberately doing that okay so now with this um knight of wands here aries leo sagittarius someone is um trying to find their way back to you i feel here they're looking for you I, they don't know where you are this is someone that i don't know if you realize it but they are been watching and looking for you they don't know you might have cut them off blocked them somehow and they're not sure where you're you are so they're trying to look for you and then we have the nine of pentacles again you are becoming very independently i would say very wealthy here okay now what else do we have here you know what you're doing whatever you're doing keep doing it you know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing you know what you're doing six of wands see that people are following you people want to do what you're doing people are watching you they are admiring you and here we have the six of wands you're getting um attention here a lot of attention and um they want to know your tricks i'm i'm seeing this with cars getting flung up there these these people are following you they're like what is gemini doing they have a secret it's like like you have the secret sauce to success or something and you're not sharing it because it, once you let this out of the bag then it sort of like will put the kibosh on your success so you're very wise to keep this to yourself whatever you're doing here i like the six of wands the six of wands says people are acknowledging people are giving you attention and you are getting more and more attention because of this okay and then we have the seven of swords there's like a a magic trick here the other people think that what is the this is like you're playing the game of chess you got you have these swords in the the draw here there's like you know what you're just tired of people trying to get over or trying to do something so you're again i feel this is saying you have you know the next move it's weird how we have games here we have a chess game we have the badminton mat or uh, mat racket oh geez i don't know is there something to do with a mat maybe a mat is is something <laughs> or something about a doormat maybe 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 felt like a doormat and now you say no i'm doing my own thing i'm not letting people take advantage of me okay then we have the page of cups Scorpio Cancer of Pisces. There is a love offer coming in. Probably an apology, too. This person could be younger than you. Ooh, we have the starfish. It could be something to do with the ocean. A lot of water here, a lot of motions. We have the water in the background. We have the fish jumping up, which is a surprise. There is some kind of form of um, information this person has for you. They have a scroll here in one hand, and they have the cup in the other. So this is apology, and this is also information they're bringing you. There's something that they're going to let you know about. Now, this could be something about the ocean, something about the sea, um, something about a star. May they see you as a star. Bottom of the deck we have the sun. Happiness. Leo energy. This is ultimate happiness here. The happiest card in the deck. Okay. So now let's see. Why do we have the six of wands here? Why is the six of wands here? Ooh, look at this chess game again. So we have the king of swords. This is you. You know how to play the game, and you're winning. This is you achieving your ultimate success. You're very intelligent here. Um, this could be that you're dealing with uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but I feel like this is your energy. You always know what the next move is. You always do the right move. Okay, there's like almost like this is a game um, that you're playing that you're very good at. Okay, what about the Seven of Swords? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups here. 
So this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Now we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. And this is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. This is being very intuitive and very, a lot of love here, a lot of emotions. You might be hiding your emotions from someone here. Or they could be hiding, they could be coming towards you. It could be someone coming towards you and they're hiding their emotions from you. And we have, oh, this said, this when seahorse comes in, that means a new connection come in. So this person might be new to you coming in. Um, new love. Oh, I didn't put a charm on the King of Swords. Okay, let me see. Oh, I like this. We got Pegasus here for the King of Swords. There's a gift coming towards you. Something special. This is like, whatever is coming in, it's the harbor of good news with the Pegasus. So this is, um, it comes in really fast. And we do have the, the King of Swords. Yeah, fast, admired but misunderstood in your environment, maybe. Um, expect a tremendous gift, joy, good health, unexpected income, good unexpected news, good for you and good for life in general. So whatever, but follow, people are following you. They love what you're doing. They're following you. They want to know what your next move is. And you, and also they might, I feel like these people feel, if they're close to you or they, that your luck or whatever's going on with you, it might rub up on them. And then we have this new love coming in. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. This person is very intuitive. I don't know if it's your end. For some of me, I felt like it's your energy. Now I'm moving to it's someone else's energy. But this is, you know, this this is person that knows what's going on. They know this person might even be realizing what something that you're doing, but but they only know it because of their intuition. Hmm. Okay. What about this page of cups? Because the seahorses can see out both eyes simultaneously and it's in different directions. So it's like this person is aware of things, whether it's you or your person. Let's see. Okay, we have the two of cups yet. This person's coming in with an offer here. Might be one and the same here, or it might be another person. But this is a soulmate connection. Two of cups. And then we have the three of cups. You will be celebrating something here. I think you're going to be celebrating a lot here. Someone might feel left out of this celebration though with this three of cups. You have three people up here and you have some someone's underwater, left out, not included. So that might make sense to you. It's not going to be for everyone. Okay, let me... Yeah, I got the charm on here. I want to make sure I get all my charms out. Okay, let me throw some more cards down. Let's see what else we can get. Just a little bit more. The Gemini. What else is going on? What else is going on, please? Ooh, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is you're being paid or being um, someone's contributing to you. Someone's helping you out. Either they're helping you out um, mentally, physically, you know, with the money. Someone is lending a helping hand. They're trying to help you out. They're trying to balance things out with you. Okay, now we have the four of swords. Someone thinks about you a lot. And they're coming in. Chariot, Cancer Energy. Expect this person to show up quick. They might be coming in to make things right with you. If there's something in the past that wasn't even give and take, they're thinking a lot about it. They have a lot of love for you. Um, and they're coming in real quick. <clears throat> Fast moving energy. Ooh, two of cups. Here we go with two of cups again. They want this connection, this partnership. Four of wands. They want marriage. They want to move in together. They want something, a serious commitment here long-term relationship oh and it's gonna bring the ace of pentacles this might bring in prosperity too there are new opportunity here with the ace of pentacles i like this reading <laughs> oh a new begin with the fool for me the fool is aries and aquarius energy something starting here something take the leap of faith you might be taking the leap of faith in a new connection here or it might be someone from the past too because this could be past energy someone's definitely thinking about you though whether it's new or past this person, you're heavy on their mind. They're going to come in quick with this offer here for a new beginning. The sun is going to make you real happy. Um, this is Leo energy. You have the sun here twice. A lot of happiness coming in for you guys. I really like this. And the Queen of Wands. Okay, so here we have the Queen of Wands where we started up there. 
I do think you are the Queen of Wands. You're getting a lot of attention. People are very attracted to you. You're, you're sending off this light, this happiness. This almost feels like, it feels really good to be around you. You're emitting this, uh, like this frequency, this energy, this something about you that is just really, people just like to be around you. You make them happy. Look, this new beginning happiness. Um, there's abundance above you. It's like you, again, wow, they got the Pegasus again. Okay, there's a lot of gifts. There's a lot of um, things changing and shifting for you. And there's a lot of good things coming in for you. And we have the King of Swords here too. So you also could have the King of Swords here twice. The Queen of Wands twice. Very significant. I do feel, again, like this is your energy. But it could be someone coming towards you. Just feeling like in your power. Just knowing. Feeling very comfortable. If you did not feel comfortable in the past, you're feeling very at peace. Um... And also, you have very strong connection with animals. Let's see a large charm for this one. Oh, we have the bicycle with two on it. Okay. So this is going somewhere, maybe traveling with someone, two people, getting together, having some fun. Okay, now let's see what the word is. What's the word? Let's start with this Queen of Wands. Let's just scoop on this Queen of Wands. We have Sirius immature expect okay expect someone to be seriously immature <laughs> well, we do have the game here i don't know someone okay let's let's do it this way someone might have been immature in the past but expect them that maybe they're serious now maybe they weren't they're sort of playing around and now they're serious i don't know let's see if that works for you guys take it to resonate leave it doesn't okay what about this knight of pentacles forget want very soon okay very soon someone's coming in and they want you to forget something something that happened between you guys in the past they want you to forget it they also might come out and ask you something because they want something um now let's see the queen of pentacles let me do that one let's scoop on this queen of pentacles we have intruder friends new start your friends might want to come in between you and someone of a new start they might be trying to block something here yes yeah, someone might be trying to intrude and block something it's a new start for you though okay what about this knight of wands realize the x thoughts Okay, so the ex is realizing something there. You're in their thoughts or you're realizing something about the ex. They're in your thoughts. Someone is realizing something and it has something to do with the ex. You guys could be thinking about each other. Okay, let's do... I'm going to do this Queen of Wands just so I don't skip it. Okay, we're going to do past. Lust. Keeps the money. Okay, so in the past, maybe someone was lusting over you and they, they had to keep the money or... Maybe you're someone's lusting over money in the past and they kept the money. I don't know. This could be you kept the money. Someone kept so someone kept money in the past and they were lusting. It might be a lusting for money. I don't know. <laughs> okay, now for this um King of Swords, we have always soulmate. Phone call. This person's gonna call you, contact you somehow. It could even by be a text or an email, but you're going to get a, a, this is person feels like they always felt like you're a soulmate and someone will be coming in, contacting you. Maybe that's the gift. Maybe that's the news. Wow. So we have, man, this would be a gift that someone tells you to keep the money. I don't know what that, and of course it's not going to be for everyone. Now we have confused, present, mystery. Ooh. So there's some kind of mystery here and this is, Either this is going to be in the present, someone brings you a present, or someone pre presents you with something. Okay, what about this page of cups? Apart, sincere, memories. Ooh, this person has very serious memories for you since you've been apart. So they're telling you that they think about you a lot. What about this King of Swords? Got a lot going on here, Jim. <laughs> okay, we have later... Ooh, a tower. Love. Someone's going to shock you with some love here. They're going to come in. Maybe they come in on a bicycle 
or a motorcycle or their car or their truck or they come they come in towards you they drive towards you somehow or travel towards you and it's going to shock you and they're going to um, probably confess their love to you um the tower is aries scorpio energy so this is going to seem like it comes out of the blue okay now let's see what signs we have here for you guys i got all the words yeah okay that looks good what are the signs here we have scorpio Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio, Scorpio. Wow, strong Scorpio, huh? And Capricorn. Okay, so this could be placements, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio, Scorpio, Capricorn. Okay, now for the letters. We do 11 letters, and this will be for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, and you know someone's middle name, if they have one, you get that initial also, all the better, past, present, future, also your own. Okay, we have M, W, H, J, A, A, B, S, Q, Z L Okay, so letters we have M W H J A A B S Q Z L. Now for the names. What names do we have here for Gemini? What are the names? Matt. Oh, did we have Matt here? Yeah, I said Matt by... Oh, very strong Matt, then I would say. Okay, Matt. M-A-T-T, -T, Matt. Kelly. Shayla. S-H-A-Y-L-A. Angeli. A Angeli. I don't know how to pronounce it. A-N-J-A-L-I. Micah. M-I-C-A-H. Martin. Chris. Aaron, E R I N, Sadja, Sadja, I don't know how, I'm not going to even try to pronounce it. S A D H J A D, Teresa, T H E R E S A, and Austin. So we have, oh great, we have 11. So there's those 11 names. All right, guys. So remember, these are general readings, not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it res resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.